Greetings. Uh, my name is Dr. Linnea Dixon, pastor of Greater Faith Revelation Outreach Ministries. We thank and welcome you to our session today on uh, Power of Prayer. And I'm going to allow the co-host uh, and, the, and other the team members to introduce themselves at this time. My name is Prophetess Akia Thomas, and I bring you greetings from Greater Faith Revelation Outreach Ministries in Haddock, where our pastor is Pastor Dr. Linda Dixon, our elder is Sanford Dixon, and we have service times every Sunday, Sunday school starting at 10, worship service starting at 11.20, and we have prayer and Bible study starting at 7 to 8.30 every Thursday. You're more than welcome to come. My name is Alma Barra Cynthia Brown, and I bring you greetings from Greater Faith Revelation Outreach Ministries, and my pastor is Dr. Lennel Dixon, Elder Sanford Dixon, and we bring we are living the truth and living God. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Greetings. My name is Deacon Virgil Brown. I'm a deacon at Greater Faith Revelation Outreach Ministries, where my pastor is Dr. Lennel Dixon, and our elder is Elder Sanford Dixon. Amen. 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 We are going to talk about you know the power of prayers. I just you know said earlier. And uh, when I thought about, when thinking about the power of prayer, mm -hmm. I was thinking on this scripture that says, if my people, mm -hmm. Second Chronicles 7, 14, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray right. and seek my face mm -hmm. and turn from their wicked ways, God said, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Mm -hmm. and, I, I, and, and the thing he said, if my people, which are called by my name. Mm -hmm. And if we think about the what we call ourselves, what, Christian? Mm -hmm. And what Christian come from? Christ. Right. Right. And, and if you call yourself Christian, he's a call by my name. Mm -hmm. Then he goes on and says, humble. And what you think about people humbling themselves, prophetess? Well, that takes a lot of self-discipline, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Yes. We have to self-discipline ourselves to humble, humble ourselves to realize we need to pray. Exactly. If we feel like that we can handle all the situation, we won't humble ourselves. That's right. But that's where pride. See, before we go in prayer, we have to tear down the flesh mm -hmm. so that we can be able to go before God. Mm -hmm. And then if you think about it, then, okay, so the power of prayer, if you look at it, then pride are standing away. Right. Of the power of prayer. That's what you're saying? Yes. It'll stand in the way of the power. What you think about that, uh, Armor Bear Sin? What I think about humming yourselves is like when you look into the mirror uh -uh. and you walk away, don't forget what you saw. Uh -huh. You have to see yourself for really what you are and what sin is in you. Uh -huh. You can't forget that, you know, God show us about ourselves exactly. before anybody else. He'll let us know what's wrong with us. Yes. So mm -hmm. if you realize you got sin in your camp, then you go to God and you pray and you be honest with God and he'll heal you. Exactly. Amen. Exactly. Amen. That's a good point. What about you, Deacon Brown? Well, I feel that, like you all said, humble is when you become that one-on-one -on -one with God. Mm -hmm. And you, you have to strip away this flesh yeah. because there's nothing good in this flesh. And when you have that intimacy where it's just you and God, you can be honest with him. And God just wants you to talk to him like we're talking. Exactly. And he hear our prayers. Amen. So you have to be humble. Exactly. Amen. And I would like you to, you know, uh, reiterate about the, a male's p perspective in humbling, um, you know, in in Christ. Yes, you know, you're a man of God, and tell me how hard that is, because it seems like it's so hard sometimes for men to humble themselves. You're, you're exactly right, Pastor. As growing up in the church, my mom took us to church all the time. But like you said, for a male, when we reached that age where we thought we were men, mm -hmm. we kind of wanted to do it ourselves. Oh, and for a man, it's, it's, it's hard to be humble. Mm -hmm. We know we have to have this exterior that we're the top. Mm -hmm. You know, we can't let people show our feelings. We can't show our feelings very easily to people, right. especially with our spouses mm -hmm. and with the female. But we have uh, to be able to shed that and know that we are all God's children. Yes. And when you humble yourself, that's, that's no... I'm a man, you're a woman. We're all God's children. Exactly. And for for me, especially for me, especially being in the military and being deployed, yeah. I had to humble myself so many times mm. out there because when I got grown and I thought I knew everything, mm -hmm. I realized that I didn't know anything until yeah. I came into the realization that God has to be first in your life. Yes. So once I came to that realization, I was able to humble myself and realize that I'm just his sheep. Yeah. And, uh -huh. you know, he's the father. Yes. And I, it's just a loving relationship that you have when you can 
shed away being a man mm -hmm. and just being a child. Uh -huh. I know we all grow up to be men, yeah. but in God's eyes, we're all children. Yeah, children. So right. you have to humble yourself like that. Like and it, it, was, it, was, it was such a revelation mm. to be able to, Lord, here am I. Mm. Fix me. Yes. I want to live my life right. I don't want to die and go to hell. Yes. So you have to be able to say, you know what? I can't do it myself. All right. I can't do it at all by myself. Yes. I need him. And he is the only one that can save us. Oh, Amen. I mean, that's powerful. Yes. It's so That's powerful. Yes, that, that right, prophet. Because you see that so much yes. in ministry. Mm -hmm. You see that so much in that, in that male role. Yeah. Yes. And it, it's, it, you know, instead of wanting to be so dominant mm -hmm. and, and, and that's all good. And, and God called me in the lead, right. but the ominous, that's right. Where the power is. That's right. Now. All right. Now that um, when you You're see right. that, you see God working miracles in yeah. the lives. Yes. And he moved. And he Amen. moved. Amen. Ain't that Amen. my right property? Right, you know, we all didn't experience that. And then, you know, uh, our we know our role as women, right. as wives and everything. And, and the thing of it is, we are all God children. Yes. Yes. We are yes. all God children. Then he said, I, and I often ponder this. He said, if my people which are called by my name first, but well, armor themselves. Then he said, pray. Come on. <laughs> all right, man. So, you know, we tell that God saying that, wait a minute, they, somebody ain't praying. All right, now. <laughs> Come on, now. Come on. That's right. Come on. You got to humble yourself. Then you got to see, pray. He said, Come pray. On. God should, I feel like prayer is the breath of God. Amen. Yes. Uh -huh, yeah. Come on. He put his spirit inside of us. Yes. He's a, a man. He, he blew his breath in man. And yes. man became what? A, a living, living soul. soul. So Come man on. became a living soul with the breath of God. Yes. So it's that with that same breath as his child, we should be giving prayer, talking to God through that same righteous breath. Amen. Come on, uh, And then if we are sinner, we will repent right. through that Amen. breath. Amen. Right. Go ahead, prophet. You know, uh, uh, amazing thing about that scripture, he said, first, if my people, uh -huh. a lot of times we can't be victorious in our prayer life because we don't know our identity. Uh -huh. We don't know who we are. Exactly. So if we understood who we are in Christ, mm -hmm. that we are his people called by his, his name, name because his spirit, as you said, is on the inside of us. That's right. He said that he created us in his image and in his likeness. So right. we are him. Yes. In house in this flesh. So when we go to him, Mm. First of all, that we have to uh, ask for forgiveness for everything this flesh have done. Yes. Then that's the humbling. But then we begin to get into prayer. Yes. After Amen. we've gone to him, you remember in the Bible days where they had the outer court, the inner yeah. court, and then they had the holies of holies. Yes. It's the same way in the spirit. Yeah. You have to get into that place. Right. Then you're able to pray. Exactly. And a lot of mountains are not being moved because we haven't begun to tap into the power of prayer. The power of prayer. Amen. So true. What about you and, and, and on the part of people praying on and the, having a prayer life? Mm. Uh, um, uh, um, said, by having a prayer life. By having a prayer life. Yes. Having a prayer life means you having a communication with God. Yes. You are talking to God. And if you don't know how to talk to God, how are we going to know how to talk to people? Because <laughs> God will talk to us in a prayer life. And he'll right. train us yeah. in areas in our life how to do things. Exactly. If we pray to God That's about right. what's going on in our life. When we pray, God is a God. Like I said, faith first got to come. Yes, exactly. Because faith work with prayer. Yes, yes. And faith don't make things easy. It make things possible. All right. With God. <laughs> you got to understand. If you going to pray, you got to believe before you That's go to pray to God. That's, That's, That's it. what I have to say about prayer. That's yes. it. Like, All right. Amen. What about the prayer life? You, you're exactly right, as all of you have said before. Um, I had to come to the realization growing up, I grew up in the church and prayed all the time, Our Father which art in heaven. Mm -hmm. But my wife brought it to my attention in our early days when we were courting and when I was coming to the church that we have to ask God to forgive us of all of our sins yes. and our transgressions yes. before we begin our prayer. Because exactly. sometimes when you don't ask for forgiveness, mm. them prayers going to hit the ceiling and come right back down. Right. So you have to open yourself and ask the Lord to forgive me yes. from all my sins and yes. my transgressions. Yes. And then I begin my prayer asking him with supplication, Lord, forgive me of anything that I've said or done yes. that's contrary to your will and to your way. And then I begin my prayer and and prayer is so powerful. Yes. I said, you, you don't understand the movement of God when you pray to him. Yes, and, you, yes, and all he wants you to do is be honest, honest with him you know, and oh be honest God. with yourself. Yes. And that's what yes. it comes to. And when you come to the fullness that, Lord, I'm a sinner. Yes. 
Mm. I know I've sinned. Yes. I know I've done my man wrong. I know I've done my friend wrong. Amen. And I ask for forgiveness. Now fix me. Yes. And and that's how it works. And that's people it. don't come to that realization that when you pray, yes. God moves. Yeah. God, he moves. He moves. You, when you pray, that's nothing. That's that's everything is shared. Yes. That's that's a one on one conversation. That's the most exactly. intimacy you can have with God to be able to just say, Lord. Here am I. Yes. Amen. I'm a sinner. sinner. See, we ha- we all sin every day, consciously and subconsciously yes. and unconsciously. Yes. But when we ask God for forgiveness, we open ourselves up for Him to heal us. Exactly. Amen. And hear our prayers. Amen. Exactly. That's right. And and the thing of it here goes along with the scripture. If we have an out with our brother, yes. yes. And we mm-hmm. come to the out. That's yes. right. To pray. That's right. He said, leave your gift at the altar. Right. Go get it right with your brother. That's right. Then you come, come to back. God and pray. A lot of people, a lot of times people do it back. That's right. They have so much out with, yeah. with people Amen. coming to the altar to pray. Come on, come and on. the prayers are not going nowhere. Yeah. Then they wonder why the prayer is not answered. You, talking right, right. you can't go to God. Hey, you got to. You done argued all day with your spouse. Come on, come on you done got upset by something you come didn't on, need to get upset about. Because right, right. the little fox is spoiled the by. Right. You know, everything, somebody told me years ago, you got to pick your battle. Yeah. Everything is not an argument. That's right. Come, uh, come That's on now. Right. So, and, and then you praying, and God said, well, uh, who are you praying to? That's right. <laughs> well, That's who are you right. praying to? Mm. Got all this out. Got no. all this. Ism and schism got all this stuff going on in their mind and heart, Lord. and you down there trying to pray. Amen. Good God from Zion. Come on now. Some come of on. you, somebody, when you think about it, somebody come to us, and they done did all this stuff to us. Come on now. And stole your car, <laughs> stole your money. Come on now. And then they come to your house and want to sit at your table and eat. Make come a plan. You ain't want them in the house. Come and on you should have won't want them at the table. <laughs> so think about God. We're God. You know, we have to, we serve a, a loving God, yes. but we can't treat him any kind of way. That's right. right. That's we got right. to do it the right way. The That's right. right. Get rid of the ism and the schism. Get rid of all of that and yes. get the thing right. You, yes. you can't be going to bed angry, one on one side of the house, one on the sofa, one in the bed, on. or one sleeping in the chair, one in the bed. Come on. Come on, poor Jesus, come. Mm. Right. My Lord. Both of them will be left. That's yeah. right. And lost. Ain't that right? That's right. Then he says, seek my face. Yes. Seek my face. I said, Lord, then you're praying. Look like prayer would, when it start praying, it look like that would be seeking the face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's not seeking the face. Come on. Guess what? Because so many times we get down there praying for what we want. Yeah. That's, that's right. right. Mm-hmm. That is right there. What? I, Lord, do this for me, 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 me. That's right. And all of that is not seeking God's face. That's, That's right. right. Because God's face is, is, is selfless. Yes. yes. It's not about self. That's right. It's about praying for others. That's yes. right. And praying that God deliver and heal others. Come yes. on, talk to me about seeking his face, probably. You know, one thing we... we get confused sometimes is prayer is just not us talking to God. <laughs> But God make deposits to us. That's right. Because we're here on a mission. Come and on. God deposit his mission. He deposit right. instruction. That's he right. gives That's us right. wisdom That's right. and everything. And not just about our bills and our household uh-huh. and everything Come else, on. but it's in our spirit. And he leads and guides us through prayer, That's right. through seeking his face. Lord, what is your will? Not That's my will. Because I might want to do this, but Lord, you may want me to do that, but not my will, but That's your it. will be That's done. It. What That's is it. your will for me today Come or on. tonight or, or or this week? What do you? If, what is your will for me to do? That's that's and it. that's what we have to seek God's face about because God's face is not carnal. Come on. And we deposit so much in our carnal mind, but we have to get it in the spirit. Exactly. What God wants us to do and how to seek his face and how to learn what the heart of God is. That's right. Okay. You have a testimony. Um, you can share um, about sin about a uh, time that you seek God's face yes. in prayer. And he answered. Can yes. you share that with us? Yes. I, could, um, I went through a bad marriage mm-hmm. where, you know, I had to learn how to call on the name of Jesus. Yes. But first of all, like you said, you got to get down in the right position. Exactly. You can't get down any kind of way and think you're going to get an answer from God. Come on. I right. had to learn. I had to let some unforgiveness go mm-hmm. because hurt 
and pain will cause you and unforgiveness will cause you for not hearing from God. That's right. So, mm-hmm. you know, God had to teach me. He had to show me that when he allowed me to go through what I went through, yes. it was for a healthy spirit because uh, I was sick in the spirit. Uh, See, sometimes we can be on. sick in the spirit and don't realize All right, right now, come we on. We need to be healthy in the spirit when we're praying to our yeah. father. All right now. See, our come father, on. he sits high, he looks low. Say and he a right. God, he can answer. This but he ain't right. going to hurry up. He gonna be on time. He's not a god that he gonna be put on schedule. You know what? Cause you know what? I put myself in that marriage because he said my sheep know my voice and a stranger won't follow. But guess what? I want to follow the voice of sin. So I put myself in it. But guess what? He told me you want to put me, put yourself in it, but you ain't gonna hurry yourself out of it. Cause I'm a god that ain't gonna come when you want me to. I'm gonna be on time. So you know when we get down there and we pray to God, we got to be honest. We got to be real, and we got to let everything that's not like God. Come we got to let it go. Yes. We got to let it go so we can be healed that's and we it. can help heal somebody else. Yeah. And there's something else he had to teach me through hurt and pain. <laughs> you ain't going to get what God got for you if you don't do it right. Yeah. I had to learn. I can't lay down with a man Come before on. I get mad. All right, right now. Right. I got to be right. honest with myself. Yeah. I'm down there praying for God to save a man, but he said you didn't do it right. All so right you now. You got to do this thing right Set if you want to get what's good for Come you. On right. And so get what? He didn't give me what I want. He gave me what I need. <laughs> so I to thank God for that. That's all right. Man, man. No, that's all right, man. Man. That's all right there. That's all right. Yeah. Go ahead, D. Talk about seeking it faith now. Yes, Lord. I, I can talk about that all day long, but one of my testimonies is uh, I was out there in the world. You know, yeah, like yes. I said, I grew up in the church. My mama took us to church. And y'all know my mama. She loves church. Yes. But when you get grown, you think you can do it all. You know it all. So I had to hum- be humbled. And going through trials and tribulations, I, I, I came to the Lord and I, and I stripped myself away from all the sets. Lord, I, I, I want to be right. Yeah. I, and I came to your church, Pastor. <laughs> and through somebody else's testimony, who's now my wife, I heard her give her testimony of what she had been through. Yeah. And that night when I got home, I said, Lord, I want what she got. Oh, and I prayed. And I said, Lord, just I, I want that yearning. Yeah. I want that to be able to give that same testimony. Because yeah. I knew I was out there. Yeah. I was a sinner. Come on, and not being saved. Come on. And through the testimony and through the grace of God, he Come on. saved me. Come on. And he gave me what I needed. And it ended up being exactly what I wanted. <laughs> I tell you, he That's blessed, right he blessed me beyond all That's blessings. All right but I had to, That's like I said, I had to humble myself. That's and, it. And, and he will. He, That's he'll it. give you the desires of your heart. Yeah. Now, I wasn't looking for her Come because on. I was trying to fix me. Yeah. Because before I could get somebody, I wanted the Lord to fix me. Yeah. And through praying and just being humble with God, yeah. he answered my prayer. Oh. He yeah. gave me my Adam dream. All right he now. gave me. And, oh, I, yeah, I could right go then. on for That's hours and hours right. talking about the grace and the goodness of God because he's That's blessed it. me so much. Amen. That's it. And, and, and I thank God, like like you say, he have to fix us. Oh, yeah. Turn from my wicked way. Seek Amen. the face. <laughs> then you got to turn. Got to That's right. <laughs> A lot of people don't want to turn. Right. They want to oh, yeah. keep. They want to keep going straight. All right, pal. Don't want to make no turn. Watch out now. Now look. The, the, the thing is, but I want all God to bless me, shower me Come down. On, yeah, yeah. I want the room en- not enough room to receive all blessing, right. but I want to stay wicked. Watch out now. I want to. That's it. I want to stay wicked. Yeah. Yeah. I want to straddle the fence. Yeah. Want to do my own thing. Yeah. Come on. You know, yes. you can't do that. That's no, right. That's thank right. God going to bless. Come God has not been to bless no wickedness. He no, will not. Come on, somebody. No, I can't, he's not. I can't shack up and think I'm going to get blessed. All right. Uh-oh. 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 You still uh-oh. 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 they always told me now the dogs in New York had license. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> supposed to be better than that. Somebody right. might get mad, but guess what? 
You can't want nobody to buy the cow when they're getting the milk yeah, free. free. All right, right now. now. You preaching right now. now. And you yeah. probably have more treasure and more treasure yourself no. better yeah. than that. Yes. yes. That's right. See, I treasure myself better than that. That's yes. right. If the king talking right, they had time for you. That's <laughs> right. I don't have no talk with all that garbage and all of that. That's right. Because guess what? It took a while for God to clean me up. There you yeah. go. I don't have time to marry somebody. I got to help clean, clean up. up. All Come right. On. Now. Come on. All right. <laughs> Come and I know now. I can't do it. That's why a lot of women get in trouble. Amen. Right. Come on. Hey, they Come don't want to turn for their wicked Amen. way. They That's trying to right. clean it. God going to clean him. <laughs> God going to fix it. He going to give me what I want. He going to do this. He going to do that. But you still sleeping with the man. Come on. Talk to me, prophet. Listen, I got a testimony about that. <laughs> this Come is on, on the flip side of that. Go ahead. You can be Christian. And in a marriage and thinking you're right. Come on. And walking in mess. And God had to tell me, I'm praying like, Lord, why in the world he doing this? They doing that, doing that. He said, if I show it to you, then you do it. You fix it. You get it right. <laughs> so I'm praying that God would deal with everybody else in the house. And God like, no, no, no. I'm trying to deal with you. <laughs> I'm loving this stuff for you. And I'm like, oh, my, it's me? <laughs> it's me? It's me? It's me. So then when you have to turn, just that's because it. you're not saved, even when you're saved, you still got stuff you got to turn. That's that's it. that's it. It's not everybody else. It's us sometimes. That's that's it. That's it. That's it. In the need of prayer. Amen. Come on now, prophet. Yes. That's it right yes. now. God be like, uh-uh, it's you. Right. Get down there. And get, if you want to get real with God, yeah. really Amen. want him to tell you something. Amen. Come on. First thing he's going to talk about he gonna talk to you about yourself. That's right. He talked to me about myself. Oh Lord, now I never forget when I first got married. God gave my soulmate, and we had a little spat, and I went in that room where I was praying. I was I was praying loud so he can hear. I wanted him to hear the prayer. I was praying so loud, and God, you do this and that. Boy, I was dying there a minute. Boy, I don't know how, about an hour. So I'm I'm praying, boy, I was praying till the storm could have hit the house. I'm still praying. I get up and I'm thinking he going to change. He was still the same way. <laughs> still talking the same way. God said, get yeah, what you did. All that. And I was meant to move by all that right there. You boo-hooing and crying. And you the one need some help. <laughs> Come on, he <laughs> come on. <laughs> he will show you. you. And that's the power of prayer. Yeah. To show us ourselves. Because yeah. right. we women shouldn't want to stay in our own mess. Yes. Right. Looking right. at somebody pointing the finger, he's a yeah. put away to the point out the finger. Yeah. Adam yeah. always talking about it, that woman you gave yeah. him. All right. <laughs> yeah. We always got some Adams, and, 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 and then we always got some Adams talking about it, that woman. Come on. And then we got some Eve talking about Eve. Come on. <laughs> well, it's that circle. It's that circle. Mm. If the woman says it's the serpent, the man says it's Eve. Well, who the one really is? look at yourself? Yeah, that's it. Ain't that right? That's yeah. right. Come on, talk to me a few more minutes. We get down to the uh, knit and the gritty prophet. Let's talk to me about that thing again. And he said, oh, he said, then I will forgive that sin. Mm. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God, I'm about to talk about that right now. The power of forgiveness, I'm reminded Jesus. when Jesus looked at the man that was sick of palsy. Come on. Now. He said, your sins have been forgiven. Take up your bed and walk. That means that there is so much power in the in repentance and the forgiveness of mm. sins that you are able to be healed miraculously yeah, from right. anything. And they look like, who is this? And how? He's like, well, look, just because y'all don't understand. Look, you take up your bed and walk. You heal. That's it. Because they didn't understand simply by him forgiving him made him whole. That's it. Simply by forgiving him gave him everything that he That's needed. It. And our forgiveness from God gives us everything right. we need exactly. in the heavenly realm. Exactly. Amen. And I'm reminded of that too. And I want to talk to you a few minutes. Got a few more minutes. Yeah. I'm reminded of the same thing when when the man was sick and the yes. four friends took him up in the roof and mm. let it down. Yes. And yes. Jesus said, your sins are forgiven. And the people just you know, marvel that that how the world he can forgive sin and 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 and, and, and but Jesus will let them know I'm gonna let you know how much power I got. All That's right. right, come on, That's right. come on. Just because they was just because their four friend was was 
had the faith enough yeah. and they were desperate enough yeah. and had the passion enough yeah. to let their friend down come through on, the roof. Come on. Tow the roof off. Come come on. On. He said, but to let you know, even though the son of man hadn't even went to the cross, can I'll I paraphrase? Right come on. But to let you know the son of man still got power to forgive on, sin, yeah. had never went to the cross and died for sin. All right now. We can't put God in a box and think he boxed now. up right there. Come come on, on, the power of prayer called God to work yeah. miraculous in any way. Yeah. Yeah. He forgave the man of his sin. Yeah. Then he told the man, take, take up your, your bed, bed and walk. All right. come come on. On. I don't know about what you're going through or what come happened now. in your life, but I'm going to tell you right now, you need to get in the right position with God and get on your knees and pray and ask God to forgive you. Turn from your wicked ways. You call yourself a saint and you got out in schism and ism with the with the with somebody in the family with Jesus. somebody next door yeah. with anybody on your job Come is on. look at the look in the mirror in me oh lord because yes. if you got the payment yeah. if you understand the work of god yeah. and you allow god to work on you yeah. you'll see the power of god yeah. when it hits you or hit them yeah. When it hits you or hit them. Yeah. When it hits you or hit your children. Yeah. When it hits you or hit your spouse. Yeah. If you allow God to work on you, yeah. he'll Thank work God. everything yeah. on yeah. That's the mountain being moved. Yeah. That's the mountain being destroyed. Yeah. That's everything that the devil put in your life being yeah. cast out. Yeah. Stay with God and understand yeah. the power of God. Yeah. The power of God and the power of prayer. Yeah. When, 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 when we pray, when when we we pray. pray. Jesus said, when we pray, to yeah. so our oh, Father, yeah. Jesus, which are in heaven, yeah. hallowed be your name. Yeah. Good God from Zion. Come on now. I don't know about somebody. On, you now. might need to get on your knee right now. Yes. Ask God to forgive you of your sin. Yes. Ask God to come into yes. your life. Yes. He'll come into your life right, right now. now. Yes, yeah, you don't have to wait another yes. second. You don't have yes. to wait another yes. minute. Yes. You've been going through enough already. Yes. The right. devil been trying to tear your house up. Yes. But I tell you how to tear here down. Yes. Give your life to Christ. Yes. Give your life to Jesus Ooh, right yes. now. Yes, Tell Lord. God all about it. Yes, you just pray, just talking to God. Yes. You ain't got to know a whole lot of scripture. Yes. You don't have to know a whole lot of words. Say, so, Lord, I need you. Yes. Here, yes. hear that right there. Yes. I need you to help me. I need you to deliver me. Yes. I need you to get me off of this uh, drugs addiction. Yes. Out of this bad marriage. Yes. Out of this bad situation. Yes. I need you, Father. Jesus. My mind messed up. Yes. Yes. My life messed up. Oh, yes. But I'm telling you today, yes. God to take the messed up life. Oh, yes, he will. And turn it all upside down. Right. Yes, you got witnesses yes. right here. Yes. That God to perform yes. miracles yes. in their life. Yes. They've been through a whole lot of stuff. Yes. But they here today yes. because of the power of prayer. The power of prayer. They testifying today. Yes. Because of the power of prayer. The power of prayer. God will move in your life. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus name Christ. Of Jesus. Probably that take two minutes and say something to the to the auto two minutes i just declare right now over that person that's not even strong enough to pray for yourself that even feel that you're not even worth living i declare and decree right now that yes. you have purpose in your life that god has something important for yes. you to do and we bind up every spirit around you now that's trying to destroy your mind your heart and your soul yes. and by faith we call it done, done. in done. jesus name jesus. amen hallelujah father we thank you yes. for what you're doing we give god the glory yes. the next time yes. we'll see you then Amen. Amen. Thank you for watching the Queen Esther Connections Talk Show. If you would like to become a sponsor, network partner, order products, or advertise, call 888-604-4711 or visit our website, queenestherconnectionsnetworks.com.